Sigma, give a warm round of applause for Chidi. All right, love, love, love. Um, young people also have love issues, so let's just put that there. Now we're going to go all the way back. And um, when I was a kid, right, when I was a kid, three things could drive a seven-year-old boy completely insane. At number three, number three was that your sisters came into your bedroom and sat on your bed. <laughs> they sat on your bed, right? You have limits, you have standards, and they sit on your bed, you know? It, it, it's, I'm still here, but it hurts to think about it. <laughs> number two, again sisters, again sisters. Number two is sisters taking the green bit of Lego. You're building something, hey, where's my green bit? And sisters have got it, sisters have got it. But at number one, miles and miles and miles and miles away from number two and three, is that somebody would say to you, you've got a girlfriend. <laughs> that, that is like war crimes tribunal level action. Half of the fights in primary school were all about, he's got a girlfriend. <laughs> so, there I am, seven years old in primary school, on Friday afternoon, and Friday afternoon was the best day, it's the best day to be in primary school, because in Friday afternoon, it was activity. You could do whatever you liked within reason, and I think the reason they did this was that they prepared the children for their parents, so that we, were, we did things, we spent two hours, three hours doing what we liked, and then we were in a good mood, and then we went home on Friday, we were in a good mood, on Saturday we stayed in a good mood, we did what our parents wanted, and then sometime around Sunday afternoon we'd lose it, and we'd start misbehaving, but then our parents only had half a day to deal with us, and then we're back in school. So it was a very smart system. And, and on, on these Fridays, what I did, I either built things, I made things up, built sort of things like robots and rockets, or I painted. And the deal was with painting, you, we had these tins of paint, poster color, I think they were called, poster paint it was called. And you could take the color, and then you used it, and then you put it back. You couldn't have all the colors at once, which was sad. You had to take the color. <laughs> and I was there painting away, painting this landscape. I lived in Oxford, and there's this place called Shot Over Hills, very green, so I needed a lot of green. But I first did the sky, which was blue, and some white bits, and some flowers. And then when I went to get the green, I had to grab the green. I took the green, had this tin of green paint. Guess who came up? Jane Vass. Jane Vass, Jane Vass, she was like Godzilla bossy. She was so bossy, and I hated, I hated, I, I'm sorry, I hated her. It was, I was young, I hated people then. And Jane Vass, she had this ear that stuck out. Yes, this one was good, but this other ear stuck out, and we weren't allowed to pull it. We couldn't pull her ear, because that was wrong. No children behave, they'll pull people's ears. So then you've got Jane Vass, and I've got the green, I said, I've got the green. She said, I want the green, I said, I've got the green, I want the green. And of course, what happened next was a sort of thing which involved slapping, scratching, and biting. I slapped, I scratched, I didn't bite because I knew by this time if you bit somebody, you know, biting people, I don't, I'm sure many of you have bitten your brothers and sisters, it's not delicious. It's not like chewing on stuff to make. You know, it's, it's bad, it's bad news. So, of course, we're fighting, and then Mrs. Lumsdale comes and says, okay, you go to that corner, you go to that corner. And with Mrs. Lumsdale, you couldn't sit in the corner and look at the wall and sort of dream away. No, you had to look back at the class. And the class, they made faces, and you had to sit still and think about what you'd done. I knew what I'd done. I'd fought with Jane Bass. And so, I'm in one corner, Jane Bass is in the other corner, and we're staring at each other, <laughs> giving each other evil eye, I'm going to get you. And I was thinking all these plans, how to get revenge without getting into trouble. The revenge was very easy, but the not getting into trouble, that was tricky. So I spent the rest of the af afternoon brooding and brooding, and nothing happened. And I went home and I was in a rage. I was furious. My blood had turned to like acid and all kinds of bitter substances. And I, I was just rah, rah, rah. I'd just been angry. Dogs that I used to fear feared me as I went home. And I got back to bad, 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 bad food. And my mother said, What's wrong? Jane Bass. Jane Bass. I was in a bad mood. My sister said, Jane Bass, get out. And then but all the Friday, I was furious. Jane Bass, Jane Bass, Jane Bass. Just in my head, what am I going to do? That ear pull it, mm -hmm. Jane Bass, and then Saturday morning. Usually I was happy on Saturday morning, but no, I had Jane Bass on the mind. Jane Bass, what are you doing? Jane Bass, Jane Bass, Jane Bass. The whole of Saturday. And then I had to go to bed early because I was just so miserable. I was attacking myself, pulling the hair off, the, off their dolls, 
Jane, Ray, 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 growling, snapping, and I said, okay, come on. And I go to my room, and I'm in my room, it's very early. And I have to sit there and stay there and think again about what I've done and why I've been so moody. And this really funny thing happened because I was I, uh, with Jane Bass. But around, I don't know, seven or eight o'clock, I'm still thinking of Jane Bass, but it wasn't actually with anger anymore. It was like, oh, okay, okay. And I remember I was like squashing her cheek in this. And actually, you know, when you squash it, it was not good to squash, but her, it was really soft. It's kind of nice. And, and her eyes were. You know, she was Jane Vass, so she was bad, but her eyes, you know, I re hey, they're nice. And I was thinking about these things, I was thinking, and I went to sleep, and I woke up the next morning, and I woke up the next morning, and I was still thinking of Jane Vass, and I needed revenge, but the bitterness had gone. And it had changed, and it was sort of, these funny things were just going on. <laughs> <laughs> and, so going, and then, of course, we have my, well, my parents are very religious, so we have to go to church every Sunday. And so we go to church, and then you go to Sunday school, and, blah, 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 and there's this bit about love your enemy. And suddenly, suddenly, ah, insight, yes, insight. So, Monday morning, I get to school, and I'm running, and I go to Mr. Lovett, I'm going to apologize to Jane. I want to, hey, what? Apologize you? Yes, I want to apologize to Jane. So I went to Jane, and I said, I love you. <laughs> <laughs> and she slapped me. <laughs> she slapped me. <laughs> and so I was introduced to love, that love isn't simple. <laughs> love is not simple. And that's what I have to say. Thank you very much.